Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Rumix by LM, the musical card game. Rumix plays two or more players for ages 5 to 99, and every game is different because it is a six-in-one card game. There's six different games you can play, anywhere from war to uh, collecting sets to playing Rumix itself, which is kind of like a rummy style game. And then they have some more musically orientated games because all of the cards have notes on them, and those notes you'll be utilizing to perform patterns and to form different musical things like songs and whatnot. There's just different types of styles of games in which you can play as well as of course a lot of the old classical games so, such as like Guess Who as well. Uh, so anyway that's the basic idea of what Rumix is. Let's go ahead and take a look down below and I'll show you the cards and then we'll come up and talk about the games and then we'll go down and I'll show you a game or two. So here we have Rumix by LM and everything included. You're going to be getting a deck of cards, the box, the rule book, and uh, accidentals that you can go ahead and cut out. It comes with two of them and you just cut them out and you'll be utilizing them for certain portions of certain games. All the cards are going to have four different colors. It's going to be blue, green, red, and yellow with all of the uh, different notes indicated for each of the different colors as well as wilds that will come with the game as well. There's different types of them but they're mainly going to be used as wilds for a lot of the games. The rule book of course will tell you all the different games that are included and of course this is a game system so you can go ahead and make your own games as well and it also gives you a music game uh, scales and whatnot they can show you for the game which is kind of cool. Uh, some of the games require musical knowledge and some of them are more simple like the uh, Guess Who style games, Squirrel and uh, matching style games and of course Rumix, Rumix itself the game which is going to be more of like a rummy style game. But for the most part this is what you're going to get in the game Rumix. Alright let's come up and I'll explain some of the games. So like I said before, in Rumix there's going to be six different games and in the rule book it gives you an idea of what kind of games you can be playing with this system of a card game. But of course you can make your own games if you like and they're also going to entice you to learn how the musical notes work and what they're called and how they're utilized. And some of the games are going to require music knowledge that I don't really have. <laughs> but you can still kind of garner more and more um, knowledge into how the notes work and reading music as you play this game if you'd like. Uh, the first game here is Squirrel. Squirrel is going to be actually a war style game which you're going to be playing cards face up from a deck and uh, whoever has the highest type of a card is going to be basically collecting that card trying to score as many as you possibly can. Fours is a set collection style game which you'll be placing cards face out kind of like Go Fish in a way. You have uh, Scale Champ, which is a musical scaling style game. It's a little bit more complex, I suppose. Rumix itself is kind of like Rummy, where you're gonna be uh, basically having a certain amount of cards in your hand. You're gonna be drawing cards from either the stack of cards, uh, the stack of cards, or cards that are laid face out on the table as the turns end. You're gonna be placing cards down, setting up sets of three, four, or five, depending on whether it's the same color or different colors. You'll also have uh, options for solitaire games like Parrot here, which requires more musical knowledge and it's more explanative in the rules as for how that works as well as pair itself and then of course we'll come with tables of possible possible music formations for certain games but overall those are the main games you can play with Rumix unless you'd like to make your own in learning how the game works and of course how notes work so we'll go down below and I'll show you a couple of the games how they kind of function and then we'll come up and I'll give you my review of the game so let's go ahead and start with Guess the Note. You're going to take out the wilds here. These are all wild cards that you can use, and they are different for different games. And of course, there's four different sets of cards, and all the sets are going to be the same, but with different colors, of course. And you're then going to remove the red. You're going to be players we've been playing with the green and the blue, which are going to go ahead and set up outright uh, in, in, in sets like this. So five, uh, five, and then another five. And then the other player is going to do the same thing on this side. And after they have done that, then one card uh, from this deck here is going to be going to shuffle this deck up, and you can go ahead and deal it to players, or they can select it themselves, placing it face down. That'll be their hidden card, just like in a game like Guess Who. And in that case, the first player is going to start by guessing. And just like in Guess Who, you're going to say, okay, uh, first of all, is it on a staff line? This player will go ahead and say, uh, it is not on a staff line, because it's not on one of these lines here. So this player is going to go ahead and flip over all of the cards that are not on... Uh, that are, uh, are are on a staff line. So in this case, he would flip over this one, and this one, and this one, and uh, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. And then, of course, it'd be the next player's turn. Say, so, okay, um, 
Oh, is is it on a staff line, or maybe he has something else like, is it uh, above the third line or the fourth line? Another question that can be asked is, is it between two specific lines? Like, is it between the uh, fourth and the second line? And in which case, you'd be like, okay, no, it's not. And then he'd go ahead and flip over his cards until eventually all these cards are flipped over, and you want to take a guess. Once you take a guess, if you guess correctly, you say, okay, I think it is the third fret line. Well, you're wrong, so you'd lose the game. But if you guessed correctly, you would win the game. Much like Guess Who, that's kind of how it works. Pretty pretty simple, pretty straightforward, learning about how the notes function. And uh, that is one of the games. Let's go ahead and show another game. We'll go ahead and take all these cards and put them together. Um, and this one is Rumix. Rumix is pretty cool because it's basically going to be like Uno, not Uno, sorry, like a Rummy, I suppose, in which players are going to get cards in their hand. And then they're going to go ahead and start playing sets. And the sets have to be basically uh, of the same color on the same, um, uh, of the sa basically of the same color going up or uh, or down or of different colors. And the max you can have is five. Players will get a hand of cards to start the game off with. And uh, go ahead and set this deck over here. And then if you have something you can play, so you look at the cards in your hand. And you're going to be looking to set it up. So down below this bottom one, and then you can find another one that's actually on that line. Uh, that would be useful. So in this case, he wouldn't have that. Let's see if we can find one. Here's one on the top of this line, one in the middle, and then you would need uh, one on the on the bottom of this line or on the top of this one, technically. Uh, let's see if I can find one that's yellow. There's a red one. Blue. Mm, here it is. So if you had that one, in which case, as you can see, it goes from here, here, and then here, you could go ahead and play that down. You could play up to five. Generally, it'd be in the same color if you're playing five. Otherwise, it could be four with all the different colors. And then after that, you can go ahead and place any of the cards in your hand on the sides of any of the sets that are on the board down below. And then after that, you're going to go ahead and choose a card from your hand that you don't want and discard it to a pool in which another other players can select. On your turn, you're, all, you're going to be drawing a card or drawing one from here. So in this case, he'll draw one from here. Maybe he doesn't want that one. He'll look through his hand and he'll also try and place them down. These cards here are like wilds. So in this case, he can use that for pretty much anything, which is kind of a nice little tool here. For instance, he can place this one here, this one here, and this one here. And that would be a set. He could also try and play something. So he'd probably maybe try and play something on this line here that was green, uh, which he unfortunately doesn't have. But if he did, he could put it over here. Otherwise, he's going to simply discard down to this pool here. And the game's going to continue with the next player drawing from either one of these two or from the top of the deck here. Well, that's a nice one for him. If he had another yellow, he could go ahead and use that. Until eventually, all this, all the, uh, you're going to be playing all the cards from your hand. The person who plays the last card from their hand when there's no cards remaining, that player is going to win the game. And that is basically how Rumix works. So those two of the six games that you can go ahead and play, and it tells you about the solitaire games as well. And those are a little bit more invested in knowing some musical knowledge. It gives you all the rules and explains them all fairly well, pretty easy to understand how they function. And some of them are also going to be utilizing these things where you're going to cut out the accidentals. But overall, that's the idea for how you play the game Rumix. Let's come up and talk about some of the games and what I think about the game itself in its entirety. So let's discuss the game Rumix. Uh, first of all, the game says you can play ages 5 to 99 and that's probably true most of the games are fairly easy to learn and some some of the games are actually games you've probably already played before with a few different rules a few different variants and things that involve using musical notes using the cards in the deck games are like squirrel and games like rumix are things that are going to be very similar to other games you've probably played before generally as kids so this game is going to be more basically a family game in my opinion a game you probably play with people that uh, are used to games that involve a deck of cards because with this really is in my opinion, is a deck of playing cards with unique musical notes on each of them as opposed to a jack, a ten, a nine, a king, and a queen, that kind of thing. And of course, it also comes with the wilds, which can be used for different things. Now, this is a gaming system as well, so it's basically giving you an idea of what you can play with and how you can kind of manipulate this deck into making your own types of games. But instead of using a deck of cards, you'd be using musical notes, which can teach you music. And some of the games are pretty sweet as far as learning how music goes. Uh, of course, now, if you're a full-time strategic gamer, somebody's interested in like thick, deep strategy games or, or stuff with a lot of artwork, somebody who's not really musically inclined or not really interested in music, this is probably going to be a pass for you. If you're, This is more going to be like for families, for people who are invested in band. Like when I was younger, I was in a band in high school. This would have been a really cool game for my music teacher to go ahead and hand out to the class and have us play and learn notes and whatnot. It's a nice little introductory 
way in which you can kind of understand how to read music. So it has that kind of appeal. All of the cards here are nice and thick and strong. They're like a plastic -y finish. They're nice and big too. They're bigger than the standard set of cards. And uh, of course the games it comes with are fairly things that you're going to be able to understand fairly quickly based on the fact that most of them players, people, have already played before. So when you're coming to jump down on the table, you're ready to go ahead and play Guess Who and that kind of thing. It's already kind of laid out for you. And if you like those kind of classical style games with a music twist, you're going to enjoy this game. For me, I've played a lot of this stuff before. Uh, I like the musical twist to it. It's something I could definitely see myself playing as a kid, but would I play it necessarily now at this age with other gamers that are like hardcore strategically minded players? Probably not so much. However, as a younger kid learning to play music and liking the games that we were at, 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 in high school or in uh, junior high where we were sitting down uh, in the bowl, which we, we called basically the place where we'd eat lunch at during high school, this would be a cool game to bust out and start playing some War, start playing some Squirrel, start playing some of these games like Rumix and whatnot. It has the same appeal, but you're also going to be using musical notes. It's a nice way of uh, getting out of class and being able to be like, oh, we're, we're, we're learning about music as well as playing a fun little game. Uh, so that has that cool thing. And not only that, but also being able to make your own music. It was kind of fun with the game and how it comes with different games that kind of in, uh, are more musically inclined, like, like, like Pear. It's a solitaire game, which you can play by yourself as well, that is basically based on music, and it gives you uh, the tables of possible musical formations and whatnot, and all the different uh, clefs. So that's kind of cool as well. So overall, this game is going to be something for you to decide whether you want to pick it up for you and your family or what you want your kids to get more into music. It's something you can kind of show them. Uh, these these more classic style games with a new remixed version or a remixed version of uh, variations of those type of games. So go ahead and decide for yourself if you're interested. Down below in the description is where you can go ahead and check it out and pick it up if you would like. Rumix, the music card game for two or more players and six games included. All right, guys. Thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment. It does help. We do greatly appreciate it. As well as going ahead and taking a look at Rumix for all of those who are musically inclined that want to try out some family games based on a deck of playing cards. Uh, with, of course, the Rumix remastered version of it all. Also, go ahead and check out our unfilteredgamer.com site. Tons of blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. And our friends at thingboardgames.com and the Giveaway Geek. Tons of great sites and all that good stuff as well. Another thing to note is we are right now giving away Vindication, the board game on our website and the uh, giveaway section. That game is one of my top five games of last year. I definitely suggest you go ahead and check out the giveaway. It's also available on Kickstarter if you would like when you go ahead and enter down below. And, of course, there's the Show Me How to win giveaway for the next season where they'll be doing uh, the wonderful ladies playing games you can go ahead and try and uh, you can go ahead and petition them to play certain games for this next season which will be a lot of fun and uh, a couple other as well all right that's all i got for this time and as always i look forward to attempting to learn how to use musical notes into a game next time diddle diddle diddle